guys in today's video i'm gonna be doing something a little bit different i wanted to do a video where i show y'all the subtle disney things that i do in my daily life because unfortunately i don't live near disney i live in dallas texas and so the closest thing we have to disney is our outlet that is not good at all but I wanted to show you guys some things that I do that brings a little bit of Disney into my home, my life that I do every day or every once in a while. The first thing that I do pretty much every single day is I wear a Disney shirt because I think that's 50% of my wardrobe. I am wearing this shirt from the 50th, no, the 100th the hundredth collection i actually did get this at our outlet because it was i think i got this for like 16 17 dollars like stupid cheap the next thing i do i do this pretty much every single morning that i i can drink my coffee at home rather than taking it to work i always drink joffrey's coffee or if i'm just drinking regular coffee i'll drink out of a disney cup or mug it's about 2.30 in the afternoon, so that means it's time for my second cup of coffee because I'm one of those people. First, I wanna show you guys all of my Disney cups. I am in the process of actually getting rid of the things that I don't use slash making room for things that I want, like more mugs and more cups. So I feel like I don't have a lot right now, but I still, Still do have a lot let me show you my halloween cups so i have four of these halloween cups i got them from home goods last year honestly i use this one all the time it is one of the cups from flower and garden this year and i love it and it reminds me of flower and garden which i miss so much i use this one all the time too it's just a boathouse to go cup um boathouse is essentially my home away from home i love that place so much and i miss it honestly i thought i was going to use this cup a lot um unfortunately i have not used it once it is the orange bird cup this was one of the prizes from the scavenger hunt from flower and garden this year it's a cute cup i really like it um i got this one because i really like the corksicle but I decided to go for the $10 version instead and I think this might be a pen and pencil holder very soon so those are those cups and then I have this cup I do use it all the time it's from the 25th anniversary and I actually found this at a thrift store a lot of things that I show you guys are gonna be thrifted but I love this cup so much I actually have more cups upstairs that I have like on display in my disney office room that i don't use but we'll show you that in a second i have a million disney coffee mugs i actually just got rid of like a bunch but this is like the overview uh, okay obviously there's like some that aren't this is one of my favorites i got this for 83 cents and i'm obsessed with it i thrifted this as well i think i got it for a dollar and i have a million cups over here in my cup cabinet but i have this is one of my favorites ever i dropped it and actually broke it right there but this is one of my favorites ever i also have this mug i just use it as a frother holder but i threw this as well it's one of the mcdonald's cups but that just stays right there and then this i thrifted this and i have all my tea Oops. and then my favorite i have a joffrey's basket i have so many i'm running out well okay i'm not running out obviously but i'm running out of the pumpkin one i have like a little bit left all the joffrey's i get at the resort i just bring it home and drink them at home one of my best friends gave this to me i think she got it from like home goods or marshall's or something but I have some of my Joffrey's in here too. I was gonna make a hot Joffrey's coffee because I've been trying to get in the fall mood and I haven't been drinking hot coffee lately because it's been so hot, but um, it is still unfortunately 100 degrees here. So I'm just gonna make a regular iced coffee. So let's make one.
So basically every single time I'm home, I put on Disney ambiance or I put on like the resort TV. So let's do that real quick. As I'm filming this, it is September 24th and I've already decorated for Halloween. So I'm gonna show you guys all of the Halloween Disney things that I have in my house. Um, I honestly don't have that much, but I'm still gonna give you all a tour. So I have the classic Mickey pumpkins and I just have a whole bunch of Werther's in there. I'm obsessed with Werther's. I have this, um, not Halloween obviously, but still cute. I thrifted this Pooh Bear pumpkin for I think like two or three dollars and I'm obsessed with him. He's so cute. We have a Madame Leota tombstone pillow. I got this for eight dollars at the outlet. This is one of my favorite decorations. This haunted mansion pillow. It is so pretty and it's like embroidered. And then on the back, it's just the wallpaper. So you can turn it either way, but this side is my favorite. I have this hundredth blanket that I got at the outlet as well. Um, obviously it's not Halloween, but I use it all the time. I have this little Mickey tea light candle holder. Okay, I thought I had more, but um, that's all of the Disney Halloween stuff I have. Another thing I always have in my house is wax melts or candles. I have this basket. This is not full, but I, I have my Halloween smells in this because it just makes sense. I have a whole bunch of wax melts from Magic Melt Company. I'm actually a brand rep for this company from August to the end of December. She has so kindly sent me a bunch of wax melts that I'm obsessed with. I have purchased some with my own money and I always have her wax melts in my house. I also have a bunch of wax melts and candles from Magic Candle Company and I think those are good for specifically Disney and Universal fans because they are very nostalgic smells. We're gonna be using one of my Magic Melt wax melts today. I, they, these are full. I am obsessed with this company. I have a bunch of her Halloween smells right now. She has a bunch of different Halloween collections right now. I'm gonna link her website down below and I'm gonna put my code, which is Bailey15, so you can save 15% off your orders. I cannot express how much I love her wax melts. They're always in my house. My husband loves them. I get so many compliments whenever people come over. I've gotten some of my non-Disney friends to get them too. And I will say these wax melts, you don't have to be a Disney fan to love them. Yes, she does have like Disney specific smells, but she also has just incredible smells in general. So I have two samples of Happily Ever After, so I think I'm gonna do one in each so the whole downstairs will smell like Happily Ever After. before I have like a Disney office area that I don't really use. I don't do this every single day, but I wear minimal Disney jewelry like this. This is a necklace from Spinning Carousel Company, and it says 1971, which is the opening year of Walt Disney World. Every single time I'm at a Disney resort, I always take the H2O products home because how can you not? Same with like my Joffreys. So I have, I think I have three. I have one in here, one in my bathroom, and one on my side table. I just it smells so good. I'm obsessed with it. I use it literally all the time. So this is not something I usually do, but thankfully this time I spend most of my time planning for my next Disney trip. I'm leaving in 12 days. Um, so I am going to outfit plan, make my list of things I need to bring, 
things I want to do. I'm vlogging this next trip. So that's what I'm going to be spending my evening doing and then editing my videos. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like videos like this, let me know. Um, if you guys are not following me on Instagram already, my handle is at Bailey. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye guys.